Yes! Hey guys, Thunder E here. I'm back with another battle vid for you. Now this time, it's between the Hi-Fi Man Diva, which is what I'm wearing now, versus the Sony WH-1000 Mark III's. Now, if you guys remember the Mark III's, I consider my best uh, over-the-air wireless headphones, and uh, those things are truly unique and superb. It's got active noise cancellation, you've got a built-in mic, there are a few things it does well here and there, and also has an app that really gives you great resources, noise cancelling, uh, audio cues, improve your music, all that fun stuff. But how do the Divas actually compare? Now, if you do not know who hi -Fi Man is, they make some really premium headphones. They do a lot of audiophile headphones, pricing starts like 500 and up, probably their cheapest and really uh, great pair of headphones are the Sultra, which is what these are based off. Now, these are plan out magnetic headphones. What that means is that uh, these are, first of all, are open back headphones, which means you can hear your surrounding, uh, but you've got some really nice cool drivers that are really thin and uses magnets to basically amplify the sound through it. So the drivers are Neo Super Nano uh, diaphragm drivers really thin, 80% thinner than what they had before, uh, giving you some really surreal sound. But what makes this different? Why is this something we care about? We know, yes, they make uh, premium headphones. It's because this is the first time Hi-Fi Man, or even a company like this, has come down with audiophile quality headphones with Bluetooth connectivity. And this is done with a Bluetooth dongle. So in comparison to the Sony's, you do need a Bluetooth dongle that comes with it to connect. But that's not the only way you can use your headphones. You can also use it directly with a 3.5 mm jack, or you can connect the dongle right here to the smartphone, to your headphones, and then use the USB connector to connect to your smartphone as well, or also to a PC. Now, what's cool about that Bluetooth dongle, it's not just a Bluetooth connect connector, it's got a built-in DAC, DAC and an app. So it amplifies the sound and the digital audio conversion is just superb to give you some really clean sound. Plus there's a built-in microphone as well. So adding the whole option for voice uh, connectivity. Now, in terms of actually voice calls, I actually give it to the Hi-Fi Man Diva over the Sony's. I think they do a much better job than what Sony did last year, uh, but again, really solid offering. Now, what does that Bluetooth DAC really do for you and what kind of sound does it produce? It is truly unique. What I like about the Hi-Fi Man Diva is that when you pick them up uh, and you basically plug it in, uh, you hit the power button, it turns on, it automatically can sync quickly to your smartphone. You put these on, you can hear the world around you, but then you get into this, you, you, play, you press play, and then you get this immerse rich sound. Those planet magnetic drivers do a fantastic job of just making things feel so rich. I mean, the highs are great, the lows are fantastic. The mids are, are where it falters a little bit for me, and I'm grading this above what you usually get. I think in the terms of audio and sound quality while you're listening to music, Nothing in the consumer range at 300 compares to what Hi-Fi Man has done. I'll put it again. There is nothing at a $300 price range that sounds better than these on your ears. They are absolutely amazing. And it's a great experience because even though there's no active noise cancellation and you're say outside and you're listening to music, it's so crisp, it's so clear. It's, it's, it's a great experience. Now, the, uh, the dongle here supports LDAC, Aptex HD, Aptex, SBC, um, high resolution uh, uh, codecs as well. So you've got all the codecs you need to listen to high res audio. And I suggest get Tidal or get the highest quality possible you can listen to on Spotify to really enjoy these headphones and use them to the best of the ability there. It is such a great listening experience. I, I can't understate that there. Now, where it fails in comparison to the Sony is the fact that yes, this doesn't have active noise cancellation. So if you jump on a train or you're on a plane, it's going to be a hard listening experience because again, these are open back headphones. The other beauty, the other thing about it too is that 
um, when it comes to battery life, you've got a shorter battery life. Uh, so it's seven to 10 hours using, of course, the Bluetooth mini to connect to your smartphone, as opposed to over 24 hours with the Sony where you're getting a much longer uh, battery life. Now, some will also argue that Sony has a really in-depth app and I love the app that Sony has, especially with the EQ to help customize and it helps improve the listening experience. This doesn't have an app at all to do any of that. But I have to tell you, without the app, uh, in terms of listening to music, the music experience is just, oh, it is so sublime. You will love wearing these and listening to music. And you will love the fact that if you're walking around a home or you're in an office, or you're talking to people, or you're even gaming. Like the experience listening to this in gaming is phenomenal. Everything sounds so rich. The gunshots, the, you know, the sounds. They are, it's a very, it's a very fulfilling audio experience, is the best way I'll put it. Now, for me personally, if I had to pick one of the two, I would go with the Hi-Fi Man for my pure listening experience. Nothing comes close to it in this price range. While the Sony's for my travel experience, they take the, the mark because it's got really good audio, but of course with noise, active noise cancellation and a bunch of features. The Hi-Fi Mando just truly excels at me. Oh my God. I'm gushing over this thing, trust me guys. I guarantee you, you pick these up, you absolutely love this. I have not been this excited for a pair of headphones for quite a while and I'm happy that these are on here. And I love the fact that I, I can put these on my ears and I don't get, of course, any noise ring or anything like that. But it's it's a great experience. It's something you love. It's something you enjoy the experience of, of listening to music the way it's supposed to sound, especially via Bluetooth. So if you have any questions, any comments about the Hi-Fi Man Diva, I know I've just kind of rambled for a minute, a minute about how good these headphones are. There's nothing more I can say other than the fact they're good. What I would like to change, of course, is the color of the dongle. I wish it was silver matching the headphones as opposed to black. Some people don't like the color scheme. I do like it. I like the uh, the kind of tan leather look with the silver. Um, I think that works out well, but I'm sure there will be other colors in the future. But if you want to pick them up, guys, use the link down below. You will not regret this. Uh, if you do pick them up, let me know what you think. I want to hear your thoughts. This is Thunder E saying thank you and... Always enjoy your instinct.